I'm about to show you possibly the best principal suite I have ever seen at a South London interior design home. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to London Property Tours from my YouTube channel. We're going to go in because the weather's awful. Welcome to the latest episode of London Property Tours for YouTube. I'm Grant James Bates. Before I go on and before I show you this house, as I say every video, if you're enjoying the content so far, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm at Grant J Bates across all platforms. I'm in Broccoli Conservation Area today in South London, right by Hilly Fields, lots of lovely green open space. It's also a very cool market every weekend in Broccoli that I highly recommend you check out. But onto the property. So I'm at a double fronted Victorian home. It's over 4,000 square feet. There's seven beds, three baths, three receptions. The interiors, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna really appreciate throughout this place. Period detail, yes, but some very cool contemporary design and cool is definitely the right way to describe this house. We've came straight through to the kitchen reception, but I'm hoping as we came in, you got a glimpse not only of the stained glass door, and the exterior, but also the marble flooring, the like chevron marble flooring as you come in. Flooring throughout this place as well is, for me, a really key high highlight. I love the way it changes, particularly on this ground floor. Real mix of materials, very, very cool. You're gonna hear that word a lot. So yes, you've got your marble floor in there. You've got your poured concrete throughout this extension. And when we go into the reception area, you'll see you've got the oak engineered, as well. Have I said it's underfloor heated? It's all underfloor heated. We're in the kitchen. It's all bespoke cabinetry, stone top, seam and appliances. These gas burners here, which I think look really good without the actual metal hob. Really clean those black hobs against the white finish. The garden faces west. Not the best day to see it today with it raining, but it's a good size and it does have permission for a garden studio as well. All of these bifold doors all open and the flooring outside is the same as in here, which create a nice in-out flow. You can see the skylight hopefully above me as well. So usually when it's not raining like this, these two skylights, the floor to ceiling glass, loads of natural light. This is a bit of a feature here. This is mirrored outside and just thought it looked really good. Um, we've got the wood here all slatted. Another great thing about this space is the architectural design the internal architecture, the great use of space. I've prepped this because I didn't want to break it live, um, but the TV is hidden in here. Another cool feature I want to show you over here. So we've got a pocket door, which I'd also prepped. Um, so this pocket door comes across to separate the space, but then by moving that pocket door ac across, you've got access down to your cellar there, which again, I thought was worth highlighting and worth showing you. Over this side, away from the kitchen and dining space, we've got a snug with fireplace. Again, same design ethos I showed you earlier. This completely hidden, but you open it up and you've got your downstairs WC, but that sits flush and seamless. Reception over this way. Oak engineered flooring, lovely high ceilings, beautiful cornices, ceiling details, ceiling roses, original windows to the front. The speakers you'll note in the ceiling as well, they continue throughout. Back over this side, through the snug, we have a library. I'm not actually gonna walk all the way in there, we'll cut to the B-roll, but 
library here, and there's a gym to the back with a steam room, and again, you've got access to the garden. I brought you back to the front of the house because I really do love this hallway and the flooring I mentioned earlier. This side, we've got access to the reception, which I already showed you from the kitchen extension. And this side, we've got the cinema room with Star Wars playing. I know I've spent a lot of time in the hallway, but it is great. You've also got the corners in here, the stained glass you can see behind me. The staircase as well doesn't get much of a mention usually. You've got all your panel in to the side, really beautiful banisters and balustrades, great light effect in terms of the stairs against the white. Also, before we head up, you control everything in the house via the panels that you'll see scattered around. You can control it all from your phone. It's coded entry as well in terms of the gate from a security perspective but uh, we'll go up and see the bedrooms now. Honestly, spoken like a true estate agent, possibly the best principal suite I've seen. I love everything about it. The ceiling height, the speakers again continue, the floating bed, I want, I need this. The wall here is a lime wash effect, which gives it that almost I mean, I remember my granddad talking about this as like a rag roll effect. It's not, I feel like that's massively underselling it. It's like a lime wash paint effect, which is very cool. The flooring here and in the other bedrooms and hallway as we go up is all wide plank oak. But probably the reason I'm saying this could be the best principle is everything from here onwards, actually. So this is your dressing room which overlooks the garden. The flooring is Calcutta marble. All of your cabinetry is all bespoke. And then that leads through to your ensuite bathroom, which is all Juravet, Gerberet. You've got a big stone tub. You've got this amazing sink. It's almost like a sink and vanity unit with this brilliant backlit mirror. Ceiling height again continues, rainfall shower views to the side and over the garden. And I love the accents of brass as well. The other two bedrooms up on the first floor are both really good sizes. Ceiling height continues again and there's log burners in both. First floor bathroom features brands to include rocker and rack. There's some beautiful slatted black wood, circular backlit mirrors we saw in the principal. You've got a bathtub and the gray and black accents in the bathroom really make it pop. On the top floor, they've used the space really well and the theme for clever interior architecture continues. All of the angles have been used, lots of bespoke cabinetry, good sized bedrooms, wide oak plank flooring again, cast iron radiators, and a really special micro cement bathroom. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the tour, the latest episode of London Property Tours. To remind you, I am at Grant J Bates across all platforms. If you've enjoyed the tour, if you're enjoying the content, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. The property is available now at three million pounds UK sterling. So any questions, if you want to take a look, drop me a line and please do share your thoughts in the comments. Stay well.